Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you're all doing very well. And jumping straight in to Incense Shuffle Day, it is time for Dark and Water Type over the next six hours. But, well, I've got to drop an incense. First and foremost, and you see it's gone orange. So if this first hour is water types, I want crabby. <laughs> basically just want crabby that's all I'm after and the first one we get is horsey so while we do this first few minutes I want to address a couple of things so firstly come and join the discord chat we've had a couple of you join it's very very good fun uh, we've got custom stickers that I did in Photoshop of my face yeah you can come and join the Hoenn shiny race which we've got a channel for so basically we've got like points categories so Skitty's like the most and then it goes down in tiers of what uh, Pokemon are focused in the event. I'm currently on zero <laughs> But some other people aren't. I'm gonna clear this cluster um, While I do that Have a look at this 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 announcement was made a couple of days ago, and it's basically Pokemon Go going yeah Here you go. Here is overview of like what you can do playing from home, which is nice Okay, so there's gonna be broken down into apparently six categories You will notice that in the the rating from home section features Palkia Palkia is featured as the raid boss there. Number one, we haven't had Palkia in the game since February last year. Might be coming back after Terrakion, so maybe June, I think, summer months. Might be quite good. What spawn is that? A low mola 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 mola. This Pokemon, okay, this was a, this was rare to start with, and now it's been featured in too many events, in my, for my liking, and it's in 10k air catches, so I'm rather done with it already. And also on the Palkia, uh, raid, you'll see there's a little um, yellow circle. That might be in to indicate if you're interested. It's been hypothesized on Reddit and our WhatsApp chats and stuff, so it's sort of like, could be interesting actually, could be some interesting changes coming. That might be even to say click invite on the raid to a friend or something. So that's fantastic. Okay look, here, here are some of the spawns. So we've got water and dark types um, grouped. There's the crabby! Not a shiny. Damn it. Um, that was perfect timing, wasn't it? <laughs> so, um, forgot to do my coffee intro. Anyway. Mmm. Amaretto macchiato. Delicious. Yeah, so water types, you've got a pretty decent range in there. However, a lot of them have been featured in recent events, including the Liverpool Safari Zone. Caravana is supposed to be the overall featured Pokemon because it's covering both types. But... I don't want to have to break out the Australian manager again uh, in character, but I'm afraid Australia got trolled big time because apparently for five and a half of the six hours there was no shiny boosted rate or anything like that and many people report not seeing one Caravana. I'm not envious of you down under in the land of spiders and snakes. I hope Australia, I hope you guys get a makeup event because that's kind of crap having 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 minutes to do an incense day, you're mad. So plan for today is I'm going to do the bare minimum, basically. So I'm going to do like the first sort of 10 minutes on camera, and then after that I'm just going to screen record a bit. Low tad, okay. I, just, I think we've all come accustomed to the fact as Pokemon Go players that if you get a shiny of something you don't want, it means you're not going to get the shiny of the thing that you do want. So if I get a shiny low tad, I will be a bit annoyed because it's like, yeah, it's a shiny low tad. Cool, I haven't had one since Go Fest, but that's probably my shiny Sableye gone. Still no shiny Verizion. Over 50 raids now, no shiny Verizion. I should have fun. I did get this Hundo Timber randomly on, on a walk, so um, I've pumped my rare candy into it. I could probably max and evolve this at the end of the sesh, which I think would be very good. And seal. No shiny. And this is one of the poor spawns, Timpole. Why is that included? Niantic, you don't need to add non-shiny spawns into an event. Certainly for a six hour window like this, I don't think it's necessary. I feel like I'm in the middle of a shiny drought at the moment because Ho the Hoenn event has brought me nothing. I haven't been doing very well in the um, Johto or the, or the Kanto events. I thought Ho Hoenn was gonna be my thing. Hoenn Gen 3 is like my gen. Wingull. So I'm getting a decent variety of spawns, that's one thing, whereas I'm currently running Tom's account for the first hour, and he's had nothing but Caravana the whole time. Oh. 
Wingo fled. Thank God it wasn't a shiny. The last shiny I got was shiny clink from a hatch, which was I was very happy with as my first one. But like that, you know, the last couple of days have been nothing. Let me know. Come and join the Discord and join in the shiny ho. -o I keep saying ho ho race. <laughs> join the shiny Hoen event race. Let me know you've got a chat channel for posting your shinies in there. It's the first quarter of an hour gone and I'm I'm desperate in need of a chocolate croissant. <laughs> we have about three minutes until the dark types kick off and um, while I was having breakfast boom two Caravana shiny. So glad to see they fixed the shiny rate from Australia's um, misery. 12 o'clock, it is now time for dark types. And um, something I forgot to mention is you can actually stack your items now. As you'll see on the right hand side of the screen, I have three hours of incense on, which is cool. Hound or This is one that was released, what, two Halloweens ago or something? And I still don't have one because Hound or normally in the UK, you never see them. You need to have a Hound or nest. And even then, like, I've had a hound door nest, or visited a hound door nest or two, and just had no luck. Ooh, hello pigeon. What are you doing, Pidov? Super effective against Verizion. Uh, yep, yeah, a load of Rattata spawning. Uh, I don't... Oh. I swear I'm cursed at the moment. I've had so many Pokemon just up and run in the recent days, and for no reason. It's just like they're, they're like, nah mate, go away. Or like, they take all my Pokeballs and then run. I'm in a very bad um, stage of the game. Now is not my time, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, I, I feel like myself and the majority of the player base have serious doubts and issues with how Niantic decide a lot of things. Um, like, why is it necessary to have two or three non-shiny Pokemon in the incense pool? Because it's already going to be hard enough to get the shinies of the other Pokemon, apart from Caravana, it would seem, because that's boosted. It's already hard enough for somebody to try and get shiny Sableye. Um, I've been really struggling with, speaking of Houndor, I don't know what I need to do to get this. I can't chase it. I've hatched a few eggs of it. It doesn't spawn in this country very much at all. The trainer club was saying like, oh, seed dots are really common spawn. I'm like, mate, come to London. You will not see one. I can't remember. The last seed dot I saw was probably for like the Hoenn celebration event. They don't spawn during sunny weather at all. Hey, Murkrow. If you can get that one shiny, that'd be good. And take down Verizion with it, and this one's a level one or two. Fantastic. I have a lucky shiny Honchcrow. I need to do, actually, I need to pick up on that. I'll put a little chat in the dis in the Discord and say, like, a list of five Pokemon that I want to do, like, a story behind. And uh, you can pick. How about that? So join, hop in the Discord. I'll put it in the um, chat channel. I'll probably make a new one for it. <laughs> Video ideas, something like that. Got my shiny Moltres, 100% Zapdos. Shiny, lucky Murkrow. It's a good one. Or Honchkrow now would be a cool one to do. 100% uh, Raikou. Oh, and maybe Trico Community Day, something like that. That'd be quite fun, I think. What is that? Ooh, yes. Scraggy spawn, 920, beautiful. Ah, oh, that's put my mood right up. Thank you very much, game. Hit the grate on it. Scraggy, I have one of, because by the time I got around to actually trying to get another one, um, they put legendaries in the Go Battle League, so you couldn't really get Scraggy, and then Rufflet was added in, so it was even harder to get. Zero star, do not care, that is very nice high CP. Beautiful. Okay, I'm I'm content with that spawn. <laughs> and hound or check. Can't see in this. I'm gonna have to go inside. I'm sorry, guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are now into the last five minutes of this event, and as you could predict, that means that nothing interesting happened. I will put the last five minutes on camera, or last four minutes as it is now, which means we've got four more spawns in the last dark type hour. And of 
all the Pokemon available that I wanted to get, I would have even been content with another shiny Sneasel, because you could lucky trade them and get something good. Uh, so far, I've had six shiny Caravana and one shiny Shelter, which I'll be putting on the sides for now. So, in my view, a total waste of my time. <laughs> total waste. Um, I'd have much rather have just not picked up the game today because this guy hasn't been shiny and everything seems to be extremely difficult to catch. Sableye, jumping, attacking every six. I can't, I can't catch it. So, I mean, I'm really annoyed <laughs> from today. I've just been sitting there, I've not even caught anything that isn't shiny. I've just not caught it because, you know, there's no Stardust bonus, I'm not going to run a star piece. It's just a waste of my time, frankly. The 0% Caravana was a nice... This was the only funny thing, the only hilarious thing to happen today was that 0% Caravana. Because I know I'm sorry if, like, you're one of the people who doesn't have a shiny Caravana, you probably very much enjoyed this day. I hope you managed to get the shiny if you didn't have one. But... From my point of view, this was an opportunity to collect Sableye and um, Houndor, which never spawn. Houndor even worse so, because I haven't had a Houndor nest here for like a year, uh, and it's never in raids or anything. Sableye at least is in raids for the Hoenn event at the moment, but very rarely is it in raids at all. It's a very rare 10 kilometer egg hatch. I haven't hatched a Sableye for months, maybe even a year, to be honest. And our last spawn is a non-shiny Sneasel. I would have I would I would have taken a shiny Sneasel, to be honest. Wouldn't really mind about that. It's a cool shiny. Caravana's a cool shiny, but Caravana's useless. Really. And look at that. What a surprise. It jumps out. Why? Why is it everything's jumped out today? Five o'clock. We are gone. Time is up. Hashtag fun. Literally, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really not in the best of moods with the game at the moment because they've done more than 50 raids and no shiny Verizion and if it was something like Groudon, Rayquaza, Rayquaza had to do 58 to get the shiny. Um, if it was Dialga, Palkia, I would be throwing my raid passes into it and going for it, but Verizion, no thanks. No, no way. So, 50 raids, 52 I think, and no shiny. It's here until Tuesday evening, I believe. I'm really debating whether I even pick the game up for the remainder of that time. I might just take a two day break, because I cannot be bothered. I mean, apparently I have the, I've got the most shiny Caravana out of our little group. You have to let me know how many you got in the comments, or come and join the Discord server. After getting five at Liverpool Safari Zone, I'd have gladly just not bothered, personally. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to be downbeat about that. What I am going to say is, I think I have the candy, like I said earlier, I think I have the candy and the ability to max out a hundo. This dude, 500 candy, I think I can max this out. Let's max it as a timber first. Look at that. It's a weather boosted mon, so 194,000 stardust and 220 candy. Bumpf. Let's power that up. I am going to work this into getting best buddy. Evolve it. Hundo timber. Let's send it over to Conkelder. Um, and that's going to join the increasingly OP fighting type squad. I have seven hundo maxed machamps that I've worked on for like the last three years and a couple of 98s and 96% Conkelders and Lucarios 200 candy let's send that over, let's send that over because that's the only nice thing that's going to happen today for this game <laughs> let me know, I know that Tom has like three or four hundos of this thing which is kind of insane, but then he has done an insane amount of raids for this. This I think was like my hundred and... no, maybe my hundred and seventieth timber or something. 33.37 does bump up to 33.60 I believe, somewhere around that mark if you best buddy it, which I'm going to do. There we go, ultimate fighting type machine. Love it. 
love it, love it, love it, love it. Let's go on a cheerio note. So come and join the Discord. Discord is sort of, um, it's very new, fresh. There are a couple of you in there. It's good fun to chat, have a post about your shinies, your hundos. Um, we can get a PvP thing going. You can share your friend code in there and get people to send you gifts if you can't access items from Pokestops. And I'm going to work on a new, one of the ideas I mentioned a couple of weeks ago about um, stuff that happened before this channel. So I think I want to take you through how I got my shiny Moltres. That will be the next video. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are new with notifications on and smash that like button if you enjoyed it. And you've got to let me know how you did on this incense day and do you think it's an improvement on the last one? Some ways I do, some ways I don't so much. Um, anyway. Come and join the Discord, subscribe if you are new, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>